my first project, we went and got a new set of batteries. The battery box doesn't look too bad. It looks yucky, but really in person it's not bad. It just needs cleaned. We're going to do a little scraping here and there and clean her up with shop vac and uh, touch up some uh, spots that might show a little bit of surface rust with uh, some anti-rust stuff or end rust, if you will, whatever. But uh, pretty good shape. We got brand new batteries sitting over there die hards it's hard to see but uh we stayed with 12 volt we were going to go six volt we stayed with 12 volt and uh it'd be like 230 amp hours and uh, what was in here was a pair of 12 volts that was less than that and we never had any issues and i really abused the batteries i never really kept them charged properly but uh, uh we'll be okay with these new die hards they're big they're a bigger battery so but uh well we'll get to cleaning here so we did some scraping and wire brush some stuff and we'll get it vacuumed out. I got some uh, rust neutralizer and some good old base paint coming tomorrow and we'll get this get this stuff neutralized and uh, painted up and get the battery set in here once it all cures up real good and we don't have to worry about that for a while. As heavy as these batteries are, they want to go in there and they're going to stay in there until it's time to change them. So better to fix it right now. So anyway, we finally got around to getting this battery box primed with rust neutralizer. Again, it wasn't bad. It was just surface stuff. But uh, this is what we used. It's the first time I've used Loctite Extend Rust Neutralizer. Pretty good stuff. This is on, goes on like a light gray and will turn black as it dries. And uh, the neutralized rust also <laughs> goes from like a purple to a black as it dries. So uh, yeah, it's brushed on. You can tell. You can see the brush strokes. But believe it or not, when it's dry, you don't see them. So uh, probably tomorrow sometime we'll get the uh, we'll get the top coat of uh, lacquer black put in there and uh, to be ready for batteries. So it's paint day and I'll be honest with you after two coats of this Loctite Extend Rust Neutralizer I am very happy with how this turned out. Uh, I mean that rust is neutralized it's blackened as it said it would the product does its job. Very, very happy with it. Can't wait to see it finished. We'll see how it paints over. You do have to use an old base paint to go over top of it with. So I have some some uh, Rust-Oleum 2X uh, lacquer. Uh, gloss black will be spraying in there shortly. I'm going to go ahead and warm that metal up just a little bit. It's 50 degrees out, but in this building it's a little chilly. So I'm going to put a heat lamp in there a little bit and let it warm up some. And uh, give it a quick vacuum out and put a coat of paint on it. See what it looks like. And... Probably put a second coat on there and let it cure overnight. And uh, if I have time tomorrow, I guess I'll be putting batteries in. And that's one more thing off my list. Yay! So we're getting there. And we come out today to put the batteries in. And voila. Looks good. Very happy with that. Very happy with the Extend Rust Prohibitive. Or I guess you could say Rust Neutralizer. And the uh, Rust Oleum 2X Paint uh, Lacquer is... Very good stuff. So we're going to clean them cables up a little bit, make them black and red again, and uh, get the batteries in here. All right, we got these batteries set down in here, and I'll be honest with you, they're Group 29s. That's about as big a battery as you're going to get in this compartment of these Winnebago's. Uh, like I say, it'd be, I believe it's 230 amp hours, which would be more than enough. The other ones that were in here were a little smaller, and uh, we never had any issues with them gosh in probably 10 years believe it or not uh maybe not 10 years maybe eight years but uh that's about as big as a battery you're going to want to get in here and uh they should be more than enough for us and uh other thing i am going to do once everything's wired uh is i'll obviously the negative that feeds the coach will be here and uh i'm probably going to put a uh a, <clears throat> a cutoff switch there um it does have one up in the dash and it does work uh, but it would nice be nice to just isolate these batteries totally from any wiring here. So in case it sets for a few weeks, I'll just be able to lift this cover up and go in here and turn a knob and, and shut them off. So that should improve the battery life some. Uh, I mean, it's a thought anyway. I mean, like I say, the one on the dash does work, but there's still wiring from here to there. Anything can happen. So it'd be nice to just isolate the batteries totally from the whole system. So. That'll be the next step. The battery hold downs are in the other shop uh, drying from being painted. So uh, that's the last thing we got to do is get it wired up. And uh, I am going to order a switch 
from our good friends at Amazon. And that'll finish this. So we did finally get the batteries all buttoned down with the hold down, freshly redone hold downs and stuff like that. But uh, wired, everything works great. Um, I did put a individual negative cutoff. As you can see with the light, just a quarter turn and wherever that light is. And you have no energy. Turn it back, it's good. So that works good. That isolates the batteries totally when it's in storage. Just another step. We're getting there. Thank you.